What's going on guys? Today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make this super efficient blaze farm. I built this in my survival server and it works super well. You get a ton of blaze rods and XP as you can see from it. Um, and it works pretty well. So I'm going to go into creative here and teach you guys how to build this for the sake of time and just making it easier for me to show you guys how to build. I'm going to be using an ice block and just, just pretend like that's the spawner. Okay. So what you're going to do, you're going to go four blocks out from the spawner on two sides. Now, usually you'll be doing this near um, a fortress, and then you're going to go out five blocks on two other sides. So I'm going to go out four on all of them, and then I'm going to choose two and go out one more on them. So just like that, and you'll see it makes a weird, kind of a weird X looking thing. Just like that. Um, and then you're going to want to go diagonally out from it and you're going to build the wall there so usually you'll have to kind of dig out and then you're going to all want to have this all walled in so for me i have to build the entire wall you might just have to connect some parts of the pre-existing wall where you're building it at so i have to build the outline all of this should be on the outside of the four or five that you went out and you go out five on two sides just because the way the lava flows it makes it so much easier and so much better so here we go we got this and now i'm gonna go to the spawner which is the ice block and you're gonna go three blocks up and then from there um, i'm gonna build the rest of the wall up and a roof so i'm gonna probably put it in super speed and it'll be done so all right so there we go it is now all walled in and has a roof i'm just leaving that block open so we can get in um now you're gonna go to each corner and you're gonna dig six blocks down on each corner so one, two, three, four, five, six. and then you're gonna go to the next corner and you're gonna go down six and I do it in the corners just because it's easier to break all the blocks. But you're going to need to break all six blocks down from the spawner. So you get on six. And then I like to connect all of the holes that I just made um, with a little tunnel. And then I will continue to break the rest of it. So here we go. Connect all the things. And there we go. All right. There we go. So now I can start breaking out all of these blocks. And this will take a little bit. So I'm going to speed it up. And there we go. It's super laggy when I super speed the video in editing, but it's whatever. Now we're going to go over to the four corners and place the lava because in 1.16, lava acts like water to blazes. It will push the blazes just like water does to zombies and everything. And then it will flow to this 2x4 um, two or 2x2 two two spot and then you'll break those blocks. I have to build down a little bit just because mine is on bedrock and there's an abyss below me. But you will probably just have to dig out this area underground. And that's pretty much it. Now with the grinding area, you can basically do whatever you want, but I'm going to show you what I use. Um, I use, it has two double chests, so it won't get, it won't get full if you're going AFK. Um, and it also, the blazes will not be able to hit you. So here's my design. I like to place some chests on either side of the 2x2 two two area. And then break these blocks right here and put some hoppers going into those chests just like that and just like that. all right and then I'm gonna need to put a layer under it so let me do that real quick uh, yep all right and this will be where you're actually able to kill all the blazes that fall in um so here we go um I like to put glass just because it's kind of cool to see the blazes fall down and you can see how many you have in there so I put glass there I use some slabs on the top and then you're gonna want some 
iron trapdoors on the hoppers so that the items can still flow to the hoppers, but the blazes can't hit you. And that is pretty much it. Um, if you just make this a little bigger, you can do whatever you want with this area. You can make it look really nice, put an enchantment table like I have in my survival world, but you really don't have to do anything fancy if you don't want to. I mean, as you can see, ours isn't going to spawn anything, but yours will definitely have blazes falling into here. You can come down here and whack them with your sword. And that is pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching. If you have any requests, leave them in the comments below, and make sure to hit the subscribe button.